Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Life with L. In this installment, we're going to be decompressing by taking out a lot of different things that are just kind of cluttering up the room, tidying up, reorganizing, making it a lot more clean looking, as well as getting rid of clothes and whatnot. So as you can see, I got my tub, my yellow lid tub. Uh, shout out to Camp Waspets for providing that. And I've got to take a couple of the different things out. I'm going to be putting and reorganizing my clothes inside of this tub. Uh, the goal is to really get rid of a bunch of stuff, be able to sell it and whatnot, but I'm also get, getting rid of a couple different things up top as well. To do this, we're going to be using some infographics based upon uh, my guy Brock's YouTube video. I'm going to link his video in the description, so go check him out. But essentially, we're going to be keeping the things that we really like, things that we've worn in the last year. We're going to be getting rid of the things that we really don't like or we don't wear. And then we're going to save some clothes for like alterations and whatnot. So as you can see, we got uh, my closet. I'm taking out all the clothes. I'm taking out all the shoes, just all this junk that I got in my room. And I'm going through and I'm trying to organize as best as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? I'm speeding it up right here because the audio got muddled. I'm gonna try to fix my mic settings and whatnot for the next time, but as I was going through this, I was trying to talk to you guys and just, you know, tell stories and whatnot, but I'm realizing too, it might be a blessing because I probably was saying a little bit too much of stuff, so. <laughs> if you guys want story times, just let me know down in the comments, like, well, they're gonna be coming regardless, but let me know what type of stories you guys wanna hear because uh, I got like, Incriminating ones. I got a top ten of all time ones. I got, you know, I got a, I got a bag of stories. So just let me know what you guys are trying to hear, and I got y'all provided. You know what I'm saying? But as far as this process goes, I think I want to I want to say I did a really good job. I got down to about fifty percent of my clothes. I got rid of, and so they're all in the big bin. I also ended up packing up some paintings some like decor stuff like little different things i have just for like aesthetics because again the goal is to clear out my room get rid of a bunch of stuff and be able to either capitalize on selling said things and or just clear the space out in general you know what i'm saying as i was cleaning i found like a bunch of different dirt underneath the carpet and i would say if you want to ever do a little bit of spring cleaning try to do it often enough to where it's not like super dirty in your house but also spaced out enough to where you could be comfortable in your space and stuff you know what i'm saying overall i'm pretty happy about how everything turned out i got rid of a good chunk of my clothes and now i kind of know exactly what i want to add to my wardrobe now that i've got rid of a bunch of old stuff i could i actually have space to even add some more new stuff as well as getting rid of a bunch of just the different again junky things getting rid of it will help me not feel like a pack rat you know so yeah final product i'm feeling pretty good about okay if the audio works on here then it was meant for me to share with everybody but if it doesn't work on here, I'm just gonna assume that God wanted it only for me. Rebuking any monitoring spirits right now. As I'm out here and I'm walking, one of the things that God put to my ear was that you need to be careful what you say and you need to be careful and mindful about what you say, especially uh, because words carry like a lot of power, you know, the Bible talks about death and life being in the power of the tongue Just the idea that you know uh, New Age spirituality and manifestation At least the idea of manifestation is really real, you know, I want to make sure that I Am somebody who speaks life only, you know, and my source being you know the Source of eternal life. There he is it there. God, you know. Um, I want to make sure that, like Jesus did, I really only speak life and I really only speak happiness and I really only speak 
um, the pursuit of triumph and victory rather than being somebody who's always like talking down about my own situation rather than being somebody who just thinks and expresses negative feelings or emotions rather than somebody who speaks death all the time i i, I want to make sure that i'm speaking light in life and i want to make sure that i'm receiving only light in life and that's not to say you know that somebody is giving what am i trying to say here if i'm messing up too much that means god's like hey shut up i am somebody who i don't think i'm like the, the most highly sensitive person but about certain things i know i can get into my feelings and get sensitive about i have been somebody in the past who really hyper fixates on um the word is criticism i used to have to like be perfect or or else like one bad thing means that it's all everything is my fault you know what i'm saying i think what god is trying to tell me in this instance and what i'm trying to share with you guys whoever is watching this maybe it's just future me is that you need to really be careful about who you're receiving criticism from try to discern if that criticism came from god or not protect your portals your ear portals your eye portals and make sure that you know you are being somebody who is only receiving the bountiful only receiving act uh, excess spiritual growth only receiving that positive mindset if i'm somebody that's always receiving negativity it's way it's going to be way easier for me to be on some negative stuff if if that's literally all i've taken in if i'm taking in positivity course then it's going to be a lot more easy for my cup to get filled and for me to live life in a way that is positive you know I, I have to thank God and be thankful for all the people around me that are always speaking joy and positivity into my life and that keeps me going in order to spread the positivity to other people be careful who you have in your ear and this is to me especially like I have to be careful who I have in my ear because who's in your ear all the time and start really affecting your mindset and like warping your reality and all that stuff you know of course you want to have god in your ear first and foremost god in your heart first and foremost but make sure that the people that are around you are speaking positivity make sure that you yourself are speaking positively on yourself you know don't be one of those people that is always on some woe is me and I can't do this or this failed so I'm a failure or whatever 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 and that's also for me too there's like a lot of moving parts to my life right now but I can't afford to continuously be on that like talking down on myself um, and like staying in that negative mindset so moral of the story be mindful of what you say and be careful about what you say to yourself be mindful of what you say and careful about what you say to other people and make sure that on the flip side uh other people are speaking life into you yeah sun's out today it's real nice it's beautiful We're out here peace i like rainy days I like sin with God. I like prayers of him. Jesus, I just won't be like 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 him.